Another pathology or something we need to discuss when we talk about aortic stenosis is a so-called low flow, low gradient aortic stenosis. It's a severe aortic stenosis we are talking about and here we have to differentiate the normal from the low. The normal is the ejection fraction above 50, the stroke volume index that is very important above 35 milliliters per square meter. This is the formula for the stroke volume and the mean pressure gradient above or 40 millimeters of mercury and of course the aortic valve area which is below or one square centimeter. Talking about the low flow and low gradient situation, you have definitely a reduced ejection fraction, a reduced, and that's important, stroke volume index. So you calculate that from the LVOT signal, it is below or 35 milliliters per square meter. So it is below 35 milliliters per square meter body surface area, so it's the low flow. And the mean pressure gradient is below 40 millimeters of mercury, that's then the low gradient, and the aortic valve area, which doesn't fit the other findings, especially the mean pressure gradient, is below or one square centimeter. So that's a paradox, because there is low flow and the aortic valve area is very small, but the gradient cannot be achieved. So we're in a situation where we have to think further. How can we evaluate those patients in case of a low flow, low gradient aortic stenosis? Here you can see again a low ejection fraction, this is probably 35%, and a reduced left ventricular function, of course, and the stroke volume index was here below 35 milliliters per square meter. When we evaluate the continuous wave Doppler signal seen over here, we get a mean pressure gradient of 26 millimeters of mercury and an aortic valve area which shows a severe aortic stenosis below 0.85 square centimeters. So the mean pressure gradient shows that this is not severe aortic stenosis. The aortic valve area says that it is severe aortic stenosis. What can we do? Well, we can apply low dose dopamine stress echo. In this low flow situation where the stroke volume index is below 35 milliliters per square meter with a low gradient and a very small remaining surface of the aortic valve area, we use low dose dobutamine up to 20 microgram per kilogram per minute to prove if the aortic valve area is truly below one square centimeter when we have a normal flow. So the stroke volume index has to be above 35 milliliters per square meter and the mean pressure gradient should be above 40 millimeters of mercury. So we need to see if there is also a contractor reserve in this case. And for the patient before, we do see that with a low dose dobutamine, the mean pressure gradient did rise above 40 millimeters of mercury where the aortic valve area still was below one square centimeter, which means that this is a true severe aortic stenosis. What about the situation where you have severe versus pseudo-severe aortic stenosis? This is another term you have to remember in case of the evaluation of aortic stenosis. In this specific example, we have a reduced left ventricular function. We have a left bundle branch block, again, in the range of probably 30-35% ejection fraction, probably here also wall motion abnormalities, but definitely reduced ejection fraction. Well, in this signal, we do see this is an optimal signal. We have a maximum velocity of 3.9 meters per second. We have a mean pressure gradient of 31 millimeters of mercury, but the aortic valve area was below one square centimeter. So we did use low dose dobutamine, and in this evaluation of low dose dobutamine, here you can see the 20, so the 20 microgram per kilogram per minute. You see that the pulse wave Doppler signal and the measurement of the pulse wave Doppler signal shows that you have a stroke volume index of 55 milliliters per square meter. So this is a normal flow. So this patient has a contractor reserve and the aortic valve area, if you take a look over here, is above one square centimeter, so 1.26 square centimeter. So this is a pseudo severe aortic stenosis. So in rest, the patient has an aortic valve area below one square centimeter, but with the stress echo, we force the ventricle to show that it has contractor reserve and 
the aortic valve area now is in the range of a moderate aortic stenosis. So with low dose dobutamine stress echo, you can differentiate in between a true severe aortic stenosis or a pseudo severe aortic stenosis. Moving on to another disease entity, the so-called paradox low flow, low gradient aortic stenosis. Why paradox? Well, in this case, you do see that the ventricle is relatively small and left ventricular function is good. So it probably even in the high normal range of 60% of 55 to 60%. And you do see that the aortic valve is severely calcified. And in this case, you also have a stroke volume index, which is below 35 milliliters per square meter and a mean pressure gradient not exceeding 40 millimeters of mercury. And in this case, you have an aortic valve area in this paradox low flow situation because the ejection fraction is good, but the flow is still reduced of 0.62 square centimeters. What can you do in this situation? Well, you have two choices. You can also use a stress echo as we did in this patient. For example, we started with an aortic valve area of 0.76 square centimeters, a mean pressure gradient of just 20 millimeters of mercury and a reduced stroke volume index with 20 two milliliters per square meter. During stress echo, you can see it here, we did measure with 20 microgram of dobutamine per square meter per minute. We did see that the stroke volume index definitely improved to 34 milliliters per square meter. You can see here the supernormal ejection fraction and the aortic valve area also improved. So this is again moderate stenosis with 1.17 square centimeters. So this is again a pseudo-severe paradox low flow low gradient aortic stenosis. If you do not have stress echo at hand or if you also want to follow the guidelines, you can use a CT scan of the coronaries and the calcium scoring to differentiate if it is most likely a severe aortic stenosis and needs some kind of further treatment.